Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Okay everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to um, analyze the procedures needed uh, to reprogram a Lexus Toyota ignition key. Now when we say ignition key, we're talking about reprogramming the key IC. That's the integrated circuit. It's an EE prom. It's a memory chip inside. Uh, it's either inside the engine control module or inside the uh, immobilizer uh, computer. Now the normal procedure uh, would be to, uh, when you take the car to a dealership, they connect the uh, dealership scanner computer. Uh, which is uh, it's a twelve thousand dollar unit, uh, and they so they charge you a lot of money for that, and uh, and that's it. So if you don't want to pay that kind of money, you can actually try and do it yourself uh, using this procedure. The procedure involves either replacing the IC or reprogramming it. Uh, either way, you know it's it's the IC itself is like fifty cents, even less than that. So the whole procedure and and then. You also have to buy a programmer, an IC programmer, which is probably around 19, 20 bucks. No big deal. Now the uh, the IC, this, the circuit that we want to remove, um, or either remove or pro re reprogram on the uh, PC board, is the IC 900. That's a number. Um, pretty much uh, for the, I don't know, probably for 15 years. That this is this is the designation that they use inside. Uh, the ECM itself or the immobilizer computer. As you can see on screen, the immobilizer system is composed of the the key ring. This is a coil. Um, as you can see in on the uh, bl uh, left hand side in blue, uh, it, it's just a coil. That's what it is. What it is, it, it receives the actual uh, RFID code from the key. That code is Trans transferred to the transponder key amplifier, which what it does is it really the uh, the signal from from the key is very very faint, so it is amplified by the transponder key amplifier. Sometimes it's a separate unit, and we're going to see that later on. Uh, it's a separate little box. Uh, everything is scattered. Um, so anyhow, from there it goes to the, to the certification or the smart key ECU, and that's the one that transfers the uh, the code. The RFID code uh, through these two lines is transmit and receive line to the to the engine control module. Sometimes everything is inside the engine control module. Okay, so on the older uh, Toyota Lexus systems, uh, the engine control module had everything inside. Then later on, Toyota has decided to put it separate in a separate module. Because if it, anything happens to the transponder key, then you have to replace the whole um, uh, engine control module. So rather than do that, they just put the keyless, the immobilizer system uh, that reads the key in a separate module. Next, in this uh, the, the screen, you can actually see the, the components that make up the immobilizer system. Uh, and you can see the ECM, the key certification module that's how they call it and this is the one that received the RFID code uh, from the key uh, there is a um, a key coil which is the coil it is a coil that's, that's that's all it is there's nothing in there there's there's no electronics in there and this is the one that receives the uh, the RFID code from the key uh, there's a, uh, a key cylinder just this is mechanical and that's pretty much it you know uh, again, sometimes it has a an amplifier box as well. Now these other components, like the amplifier box and even even the the, the coil uh, around the key, uh, the uh, around the cylinder, they are not they don't really cause that many problems. The the key coil sometimes uh, it goes bad because people bang it and they leave the key. They they have so many dangling uh, keys in, in, on their key uh, the car keys that it weighs so much and it really damages the coil. That's why I just don't put that much that much stuff in the, on your key. Anyhow, uh, and so that's pretty much it. The complexity of these systems lies in the actual reprogramming of the new keys because it only accepts X amount of keys, whatever they decide. You know, the Lexus or, or Toyota. And so once once the whole memory uh, stack is full, then you have to 
erase this is what we're going to do here you're going to erase the EEPROM which is that little chip and then reprogram it as we can see on the video here we're looking for the IC900 that's the that's the name of the of, of the chip it's a 900 chip so anyhow um, if you look at that uh, the, at the IC at the chip it's probably going to say L56R very faint the L56R is also a 93C56 EEPROM. Uh, they're labeled differently depending on the year, make a model that you have of Toyota Lexus, but it's the same chip. So you can actually research that online and you can buy this chip. Again, this is I've seen it for 35 cents uh, per chip. So that's pretty much if you have to change the chip. Uh, oftentimes you just remove it, which is that's the hard part of it. Uh, remove it and then um, and then replace it, uh, reprogram it and then place it back and resolder it. You have to have some basic uh, resoldering skills, you know, because this is a surface mount IC, and so. But it's no big deal. It'll it'll save you. Sometimes these com these computers could go as much as a thousand dollars, so it is worth the try. Next, we're going to talk about the uh, the program that you're going to use. This is a free program. It's called Pony Prog, and this is a hex EEPROM programmer. Again, this is everything is it's open source, so you don't have to. It doesn't cost you a penny. All you got to do is have a, a laptop or a computer uh, to connect the uh, programmer to your computer, uh, and that's how you're gonna be able to program. Um, and you're gonna see that next as well. Now, next on screen, this is what you're gonna see with the Pony program, the Pony programmer. That this is the software, the the free software that you're gonna download. It's a small software too. It's not. Uh, this is just going to be a hex program. A hex is a hexadecimal system, and that's what they—that's what computers speak. That's a, that's their language. Okay, so you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to erase all the old keys in there, and you're going to leave something called the access code number. The access code number is a number that's given to the technician by the dealership. Um, ju this is just to make sure that you're not programming. Uh, somebody else's car and you know like for theft you know vehicle theft and things like that uh, but this is meant for you guys you know if it's your car you so you can use it you can definitely do this procedure if you're stealing a car this is not for you so uh, you know just don't don't watch my video anyways so if you're a thief go away next you can see a typical dump this is a hex hexadecimal number dump uh, from an old computer uh, and this is when you actually place your chip in in the in the programmer you're gonna you, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna read uh, what's stored in there uh, you're gonna erase everything in red okay so all these numbers are they belong to the old keys reprogrammed that are programmed in that in that particular module you can actually buy uh, if your module is, is defective, if your ECM is defective or your uh, immobilizer um, is defective, the, the computer, you can actually buy one from the junkyard and reprogram it to your needs. Make sure it's the same computer, that it's, it doesn't, it's got the same connectors, you know, for the ECM or whatever module it is that, that, that you are reprogramming. Again, the, what you see here in red, leave it. What you see in blue, that's the, I mean, the erase it. The, the red part, erase that. Leave the blue, the two numbers that you see here. And it may be more than, but anytime you see these numbers repeated, uh, leave them. Uh, that's the access key. This is, will allow you to plug in your uh, blank ECM. And we're going to show you, just erase it. Just erase these, these red numbers. Uh, once, it, once it's erased and it's ready to accept new keys. And you're going to do that in the car. Um, which is a very simple procedure. Finally, you can see what it should like it look like once you erase uh, and you're going to edit that. Um, learn, you know, do a little bit of research and learn to use the software. It's no big deal. You're just going to click on the top on the menu and you're going to edit these numbers and you're going to erase them to put everybody to zero. Okay. Once you once you have that and you and you left the seed the the access numbers in there, then the the ECM. Uh, or the mobilizer module is ready to accept new keys. Now to reprogram the uh, new keys um, on screen is the whole procedure. So follow the procedure. Uh, you can scroll back and forth, write it down if you need uh, to be able to uh, to program the new keys. Uh, but once the, uh, the the chip 
it's blank it's ready to accept um, uh, new keys and uh, it's pretty much a matter of just follow the procedures on screen uh, again uh, we thank you for watching our videos uh, all the time uh, and subscribe to our website um, it's a must it's, it's very good that way you you can receive tons of free stuff this particular video itself is going to be probably offered for free uh, in a download uh, in the near future so again uh, thank you for uh, tuning to our channel ADP training uh, subscribe to our website and uh, thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.